Hello, Mr. O. Hello, sir. Um, I want to get your thoughts on um, one of the, one of the things we've been has been levelled at us in some of our videos is that we're from the Stone Age or we're from the Iron Age or you know we're we're all too old farts morning. Around the fire. Around the fire, yes. Now, one of my thoughts on this is is that old the older generation, like my father, was was born nineteen thirty eight. So he, he has certain views on things that were put into him, just as we was when we was children in the 70s and 80s. And just to quote Orm and, um, and Gorin here, just because something's right or wrong one day, you can't say it's right another, if that makes any sense. And I'll give you an example here. If we can imagine a world where paedophilia was suddenly legalised, we have a you know it's uh, we have a, a government that suddenly says Jimmy Savile was misunderstood yeah. and a bigot of the and bigots at the time, etc. A lot of people would say, well, I still wouldn't agree with that, but that's just because you've been left behind. You, you see where I'm trying to trying to come from. That's what makes people from Stone Age. It's just the left behind and expected to well, accept something. The, the modern technology aspect. My father has never even. He's heard of Facebook, but he's never even attempted to use a computer or surf the web. Uh -huh. And my mum didn't. And I wish she, I wish my mother had, because yeah, you know it, it's something for them to do, kind of thing. You know, um, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? It's a sordid world, but th like I said, the, 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 some, the, some good comes from the internet. Yes, think. indeed. Plus, little things like you know, if you have to phone somewhere. And you can't speak to a fucking human being anymore. You have fucking 20 options and 20 mm. hashtags to fucking press. You know, the, 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 like, things like this. For example, parking in Wigan now, town centre, you have to fuck about with a credit card or phone up, phone up to park. You know. Yeah, they do that with Dartford Tunnel as well down south. And, and the congestion charge in London, which I didn't know, and I got me and uh, Chris James. Got stung for 50, well, I got stung for 50 quid driving through London, I saw a big sea on floor. You expect some fucking bloke in a booth like Blakey, you know what I mean? Like waiting to take mm. your money. You, it you doesn't know? happen, does it? You have to ring you, up or go online. And if you don't know, that, that, well, that's the beauty of them doing it, and it's a massive fucking rent. They have a low emissions zone there as well, well don't they, I believe? You know, but my point being, if you're an old person, if you're an old person, you don't want to make work. You know, t options on a phone. You just want to speak to somebody. You don't know how to send an email. You don't know how to fuck about with with the, with the internet. And uh, you know what I mean. Oh, do you parking and uh, all this? So so a, a massive a massive glut of that generation are left behind. And per perhaps the councils should provide all the people with laptops and things like that and then and, and instruct mm. them how to use them because yeah. it will be invaluable for an older person you know to, to make use of this tesco shopping shit or whatever mm. as do where they could order online because they're not good at getting out anymore and stuff like that. i don't know it's a, it's a difficult one isn't it you know but um well one of one of the things that was leveled at, at older people and, and perhaps partly towards our generation was we had sold the younger ones down the river bar voting out of Brexit you know for Brexit we'd voted for that and it's basically it's not because we thought oh hey hey let's fuck everybody up and when we're gone you know scorched earth policy it's just the fact that northern towns have been left behind sir but with wasn't, it. wasn't that complete bullshit well, I, I think it was yeah 30% 30% yeah we do mention this before to, to, turn out to vote and all of a sudden the youth of the world was bouncing around with banners and placards and for me that was a poor up job. Mm. But it is a double-edged sword with technology and people being left behind in the sense of... Are they missing that much with not having the fucking internet? No. You know, I mean, I mean uh, there's me there saying, I'm contradicting myself here, there's me there saying, oh, they'll be able to look at stuff. Yeah, they go on Facebook and look at some cunt's tea. Oh, you know what I mean? Some stupid fucking kid in a moth-eating Spider-Man fucking outfit you know what I mean and the irony I is that people don't use Facebook now younger generation move away from it and move to whatever next one is I don't know but yeah. because the parents are on it they don't want to be on it because the parents and it's not cool I'm positive to see what the fucking parents are see what they're getting up to yeah you know yeah. but in a way it's good that they don't use 
stuff like that because they're not missing anything. I mean, well, I'm corrupt. I've been corrupted now, and I've, I've bought into that old social media thing, and it's ingrained itself in my life. To that, it's, it's, it's done me laugh so much. I am, if I'm being honest. Your laugh becomes a series of hits and red lights and notifications. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, it, and that has, it is it has become sort of my life, and it's ruined most of the relationships. I've been in because of the, the, the obsession with it um, and all as aspects of it as um, But I do think that, that younger people, you know, you, you're 19, the, the people who are 19, 20 now and are watching these videos and saying, who are these two old fucking cunts, you know? They're, they're, they're coming here with the 1970s way of thinking and this, that and other, but really you just need to stop and, and, and take a look because what'll happen one day it'll happen to you the world will take a step forward and you will hold back and say that's not right and you'll forever be out of step with, 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 it, with, with it afterwards there is no school like the old school i will always maintain that kind of thing and um and i, I accept that for them when they're they reach 40 that'll be their old school it's one of them isn't it? you paddle your own canoe in this world and just Never, you know, just do your own thing. Yeah. You, know, you shouldn't, yeah. shouldn't be, you shouldn't be dictated to by anybody, young, old. You should be doing what you want to do. But you, I've started thinking that you know you see people and you just just think, you know, yeah, okay, it does sound like a, a really bigoted comment compared to what we're supposed to do today. But when you was younger, that was okay. I'm not saying it is okay. What we're saying. But you do have to just say, well, you know, you suddenly can't... You hear these stories, don't you, where somebody ends up getting, getting bloody fanned because they've been, they've been a bigot or they've been racist, and it's just... They, they can't understand why they've been told that. Mm. You know, just stop and think, really. You know, that's why people are being left behind. Yeah. And, um, anyway, so I, th fuck, I think we'll... Fuck the kids, but not in a Savalesque type manner. Oh, that'd be totally wrong. I think we'll leave it there, so... Subscribe to us if you haven't... If you want to. Yes, definitely. Whether you're young or old, black or white, please subscribe. Nice closing shot of Mr. Roll, though. <laughs>